In this video, I just want to go over a few of the rules for alphabetizing in rules one through four. I'm seeing from some of the quiz results that maybe you are still struggling with them. So I just have a quick example here. And what I'm going to do is go through them, help you identify what the key unit is and how you should actually file it. So for individuals last names, it's their last name that's going to be your key unit. So I recommend that you go through and you underline these. For this particular name, we're going to assume that Castro is the actual last name if you can't determine it. For names that are may be unusual or uncommon and you don't know if the first name or last name is the first one listed, go with the last name. Names that are hyphenated, you assume that it is the first name in the list. This looks like a business name. So the very first unit is the key unit in a business name. When you have the ampersand, it's considered and. So this would be C-A-N-D-R. Allison's. And then the C would be your first key term. The A would be your unit 2, and then the B would be unit 3. So I'm going to highlight just the C in this example. The next thing that I'm going to do is actually alphabetize these. So I went through my A's first and alphabetized them according to the alphabet. So I have 1, 2, and 3. Now I'm going to go through and alphabetize my B's. I only had one B, so that was easy. Now on to the C's. I have C, A, B, and C, and R. The A is my second unit, and would be my second unit in this example. So the A comes before and, so C, A, B is number five, and C, and R is six. On to the C, A's. C, A, R is before C, A, S, which is also before C, A, V. Then our final one is C, H.